To the Sienjo, I am but an abandoned pawn, a wandering swordmaster. If you wish to avoid trouble, pretend we never met. I wouldn't say he's a natural swordmaster, but being gifted shouldn't be a determining factor when choosing an apprentice. Mentors who place importance on natural talent either lack the skills to teach or seek to take credit for their apprentice's easy success. Fame, background, none of those matter. I will teach my techniques to anyone willing to put their heart into them. I put him under great pain and suffering when I taught him. On the day his skills are perfected, he vows to return the favor. <laughs> I look forward to it, to take the throne. The High Elder of the Vidyatara needs to pass a series of trials, during which their physical features slowly transform to resemble that of their predecessors. I see that loss of identity as a curse, rather than a gift. He managed to break free eventually, but should have done it in a different way. He is still a fledgling, but I see great potential. Still, one cannot truly understand swordsmanship without sustaining injury and drawing blood in the thick of battle. We talked about the stars we flew past, the views we saw together, and the dangers we escaped. But I can't remember the details. The things we said and did together have all been shrouded in a layer of mist. A mist I cannot see through. He is just like me. There is a hole in his heart. No matter what he does to fill it, the hole remains. The harder he tries, the more exhausted he becomes.